you appreciate how sick the patients are when they come to see you, and um, uh, especially after after a liver transplant, you can notice that. And right, very quickly, I would say, after a successful liver transplant, they uh, they get remarkably better. They leave the hospital, um, walking, doing whatever they need to do, uh, going back to their family, friends. Uh, that's very rewarding. Uh, when it comes to the treatment of cancer, oftentimes you're able to um, to remove the cancer and uh, offer uh, a very good long-term survival and uh, oftentimes a cure. That is uh, uh, that is very rewarding. Most of the time, they, they, they don't exactly know what is going on, what they have, what is the diagnosis. So try to define uh, specifically, put name into what they have, and uh, what, is, what are the, the potential treatments that we can offer and, and outcomes, um, and try to uh, do all that in a uh, uh, friendly uh, uh, fashion environment they, they, so they feel comfortable. They don't find that cold barrier between the physician and the patient. Uh, uh, I think that's very important, especially when you are uh, dealing with uh, malignancy, with cancer. Uh, I think the patient needs to to, to feel that um, uh, comfortable environment. When patients come to see me uh, f uh, for second or third opinions, uh, where they have been told uh, elsewhere that there's nothing that I uh, can offer for them, and they come to see me, uh, our team, and. Uh, we actually can offer treatment for them and uh, uh, oftentimes also being able to, to cure them from a cancer standpoint. And uh, I think that that, that is a, um, it's a great feeling and a great thing to be able to provide for the patients. I like to um, uh, spend time with the family. Um, I have two, two uh, little kids uh, and spend time with my wife and place you know, sports, Not, nothing very complicated or sophisticated, just have free time to share with them when I can.